right now the system has finished running the drive itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically go into WDS I'm going to tell that I want to um, add this boot drive so now I'm just going to close out test sequence Says I'm I'm basically like I prepared the OS ready for me to load. And then I'm gonna go into WDS itself. And then what's gonna happen is that it's gonna ask me, you know, okay, do you have an image you want to add? So I'm gonna go to a the the server so we have install put images if you had actually set the server to you need to answer response then it will show up here so we're going to click boot images we're going to remove this guy since this is old I'm going to select boot image at boot we're going to search for the file I'm going to go to the drive, deployment share, boot, and then I'm going to give it the 64 bit version. And then it's going to tell me the, what's the image name. And then I'm going to like run the uh, add the image. And what's going to happen is that it's going to Prepare the image to be used on one of the over the machines. Now we have the image ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my my actual machine. So I have basically um, the Windows the the VMware. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically. Uh, share a screen for you guys here. So now we're in the VMware side. So I'm going to have power up the Windows 10. I'm going to run network. Now remember the key thing is make sure your uh, network is ready uh, for this to work. So when, when you know everything's good to go, you click Start Pixie. It's going to contact the server. It's going to ask me to confirm. And then I'm going to now start to download the files from the server, basically. And the key thing is you want to pay attention to like the download itself. So I have the IP address that it's pointed to. And it's down, so it's gonna be slow, whatever, it depends on how big. And then the server will basically load uh, the, the WinPE. And then this is the interface you're going to see, uh, Daniel, on, on upon boots, like the, the load the first boots. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching, and I'm I'm got you. I'm so still, I'm still here worries. watching you, and so don't worry, I hadn't left or anything. I just mute my mic and no, chit no worries. It's all it's not a problem. So this is basically the first page you're going to see when you start up the image. So you have the run or command prompt. And then you got the stack IP address that if you need to um, basically enable you know, IPs if you know what server uh, the DNS you want to go to. So if you know which one, you'll type it. Otherwise, you basically could cancel and basically continue on. Right now, what's going to have is I'm going to run. It's going to then ask me to identify myself. And this is one of the good things about this. If you actually tell it, then it won't ask you again. So I'm going to use my credentials. 
that down or just log in. Then it's going to contact the server and look for the files on there to check what I have. So now it knows I'm going to run the sequence. And then I click next. Then it's going to ask me a couple questions. Okay, what computer name do you want to use? Are you joined to the domain or you're joined to work group? So I'm just leaving the way it is. It's going to ask me, do you want to move data and things from previous version of Windows? And this is kind of related to you, Daniel. Just don't forget. So I want to, like, you know, um, I don't want to move any data. So if I want to keep existing partition, then I wouldn't want, now if I want to capture and restore them, so I would click move user data settings. And then use the data, so specify location. This is even like I told you, full, you know, path to previously saved files. This is related to, uh, to like if you backed up the, the data of the profile itself. So if you saved it to the share of the server, you would give the specific, uh, specific location. And then the same thing. All this is actually customizable. So everything that you see here is based on what I gave it, the info. So it skipped a lot of them because I told it what I want to do. And then capture image. This come. This is the same thing related to a man's question. Specify where to capture an image. If I want to capture, I'm going to tell it the location and what the the file name is going to be. And then it's going to ask me, well, what are you going to be doing? Are you capture and going like the same thing, or are you just just prepping, prepare to capture, or don't even capture at all? And then afterwards, this is the entire, you know, um, information that you gave it. Here's the TS Guild, the community name. This is my, you know, domain admin join. And now, I don't know if you see this, Daniel, uh, but this is the, the entire line that you would put into the, the file, the uh, custom settings. Where is so it? You images? Entire. Oh, uh, the, the answer file. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, th so here, domain the OC computer name. This is reference to what I told you. But you can des designate this as a serial number or based off what you want it to be. Domain admin, password, and join. So, if I told it I want to join domain, I would set it to join. USMT offline migration, you're told the true or false, the, the target you want to migrate from, the location. And these are all basically what you can um, tell the system to skip the, the following based on what you want these answers to be. So if you know everything is ready to go, you click begin, and the system will start you know, uh, pulling the files from the, uh, the server. So right now it's running the first action, which is the count, the basically format, and then scoping, configuring, and then it's going to start the loading process. So you can see this is basically the entire script running in the background. I'm going to pause here. We're going to come back once it finishes. The recording has stopped. Okay, I'll pause mine too. As you can see, it's very easy. 